Hey guys, it's Mia. You did comment in my last couple of videos that you would like to see how I eat keto out at restaurants. And I thought this might be a cool series to do because I do have a what I eat in a day series. If you haven't checked those out, I'll link those in the description, but I also have a playlist on my actual account for my what I eat in a days on keto. But a lot of times I like to cook, so I'm eating at home. Um, but I do like to eat out still, and I will still eat out on keto. And so I think it's important to kind of give you guys a toolkit so that you can figure out how to eat out um, and how to do ketogenic lifestyle and make it work for you if you are someone who likes to go and eat out or you have a special dinner or something. So I'm going to kind of walk you through um, a few great tips and also some footage of me in the restaurant. This one is the start of the series is going to be uh, me eating at an Indian food restaurant. I think that Indian food restaurants, Indian food and Chinese food can be two of the hardest foods to navigate with all the sauces. Indian food especially because of the curry sauces and the different sauces that the meats are in, so it's hard to know kind of what's in there. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, how I navigate the menu, how I look through that, and how I plan when I'm eating out at an Indian food restaurant. So without further ado, let's head on over to the restaurant. Okay, so basically you guys asked <laughs> you guys on the other side of the camera. Hi. Yikes. Um, you guys wanted to see videos about how I eat ketogenic when I'm out. So I was kind of looking at the menu and I'll kind of direct you guys through that on like how I decided what I was going to have. I ended up eating chicken tandoori just because um, I kind of know about Indian food that's in different sauces and I was able to decide. But like basically what's going to be on the table, I'm just looking to skip the bread, so I'm not going to be eating that, that'll be him, um, the non, the arose, um, those kind of carby things, you just want to skip them out completely, and then avoiding obviously like the sauces with sugars. <laughs> Um, like avoiding the sauce with sugar, so skipping on mango chicken or something with fruits and who knows we have sugar. And when in doubt, you can always Google it and see. I got the tandoori chicken because I know there's a little bit of yogurt in the sauce, but there's not too much and it kind of comes off when it's cooking. He's eating a chicken samosa, I'm eating his lettuce, and there was one tomato. <laughs> Okay, so you guys saw kind of like what I got at the restaurant um, and like what I chose to get out there. I was going to show you the menu, but they took it away before I could um, to show you guys kind of how I decided. But to know what I wanted to get, I, I did look beforehand because it just makes it so much easier when you have an idea of some things you want to get. So I always recommend looking beforehand, seeing what you want to try, what you want to have, what you haven't had. Um, Plus you can look online to see if these are sauces or recipes that are made with a lot of sugar. So that's kind of how I knew with the tandoori chicken that that's what I wanted to get because I looked online at how it's traditionally made and there is some carbs that are going to be in the yogurt and some of the sauce on it but they're not adding a lot of sugar in there or um, wheat so I didn't have to worry about that. So when you're kind of reading down the menu, um, Indian food specifically, I would try to keep it as simple as you can. I know that's not always the most fun things. The more fun things are the curries and the sauces, but those are where your carbs are gonna come in because you don't know what's going in there. Like I said in the restaurant, stay away from anything um, sweet mango sauce, um, something like that, because you don't know grams of sugar they're putting in that or how much sugar obviously is already in the fruit. So just stay away from that, you don't need that. Um, and then for other sauces, if they're spicy, they're usually okay, but be careful because sometimes they do put sugar in the spicy ones to take down the heat. I just always recommend getting something that you know kind of how it's based. And like I have no Indian cooking experience really, so I don't really know how to navigate that myself. And so what I'll always do is I'll just look online really quick at how the traditional recipe is made and look and see kind of what's normally put into the sauces. And that's how I can tell that's what I want to get or I don't want to get that. Um, so I can kind of look and see how it's been made in the past, how it's traditionally made, and that's probably nine times out of 10 how the restaurant is going to make it. They want to get authentic, traditional. So I would go with that. Grilled meats are usually safe. The kebabs are usually safe. Most Indian restaurants will have like a lamb kebab, something like that. If you do want to get like a dipping sauce for it, make sure that you're not going too heavy on the yogurt sauces. They usually are yogurt based. They're not usually sour cream based, even though that's kind of what they look like. Stick to the spicier sauces. They'll usually have like a sweet sauce or a mint sauce, something like that. But 
Again, you want to avoid those sweeter sauces, stick to stuff that's fresher, and try to stick to the meats. The grilled proteins are great. Tandoori chicken is usually an okay option per plate. Um, I think for like six ounces, you're probably going to get six grams of carbs. So just kind of account for that. You can usually look in different apps like MyFitnessPal and get a rough idea of what kind of the food is going to look like there. But that was how I kind of navigated the Indian food. I tried to stick to the more grilled meats. Um, I did try some different sauces and things, but a lot of times, um, since they do come with bread or rice at most Indian restaurants, you can just ask for more vegetables or a little side salad. I just asked for more vegetables underneath my tandoori chicken, and that's what I had as um, my like extra type thing. And I could still have sauces because I just kind of put those on the vegetables, and it was completely fine. It was still delicious and I got to kind of enjoy the Indian food, but that is how I look at when I'm going out. I just try to um, control what I can, look up a little bit beforehand would be a tip, um, check how the recipes are traditionally made if there's something complex like um, Chinese food or Indian food. You can usually look online for the traditional recipes for those because a lot of times they have sugar and different things in the sauces, so it's just better to look and see how they're probably made. Um, and then just skipping on the extra carby things, don't get the samosas, don't get um, the bread, the rice, those are just easy things to skip on that you don't need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is how I eat Indian food out while I'm on keto um, and how I stick to keeping my Indian food low carb, especially because Indian food can be a more difficult um, food to kind of navigate. But I hope you guys liked that. If you do like to see these videos, comment down below and let me know because I did get a comment in the last video that you wanted to see more um, how I eat out at restaurants. And so I was trying to make those things kind of for you about what I'm ordering, how I'm looking at the menu. But I need you guys to let me know if this is what you want to see so I'm not just making content that you don't really care about. But please, if you haven't already, if you stay to the end, I would imagine you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Like I said, comment down below. But subscribing and liking the video really do help my channel grow and help other people to find me and so we can help grow the community and help other people kind of learn how to navigate the ketogenic lifestyle while they're out and having recipes.